In this video, we'll show you how to operate the 3D printers at Beam. Step 1. Prepare your file in Cura. Double check to make sure your print settings are correct and that your design is positioned in the middle of the build plate. Remember to pay close attention to the settings for support and for build plate adhesion. Click Slice to prepare your file and Cura will estimate the amount of time and materials your print will need. After you know the estimated time and materials that your print needs, it's a good idea to start filling out the online 3D printer form for your project. The link to this form can be found in both the Sakai 3D printer module or on the 3D printer page of the Beam website. Step 2. Grab a Beam USB. Look for a 3D printer that is not currently in use and verify that it has enough filament for your print by checking the back of the machine. If it does, take the printer's USB out of the front of the machine. Cura should recognize the USB as soon as you plug it into your computer. Save your G-code file from Cura onto the printer's USB. Step 3. Start your print. Eject the USB from your computer, remove it, and insert it into the 3D printer. Use the click wheel to press print and select your file name. Often, it's at the top as the most recently uploaded file. Immediately after starting your print, submit your online 3D printer form so that staff can have an accurate record of when you started your print. Remember that staff will cancel any print jobs that do not have a form submitted for them. Step 4. Finishing up. You must stay in the makerspace until after the first layer of your print is complete or for 20 minutes, whichever is longer. Once your print finishes and the bed returns to room temperature, it should lift easily off of the bed. Do not pry it off. If you do, it can strip the glass off the build plate. If you need help or have questions, please don't hesitate to ask a BEAM staff member for assistance. Be safe at Beam.